Colin cool. thinks grapes cool. Well. Just saying. That's on camera. Don't forget it. <laughs> and cut. Go ahead, you can go, just just be normal. Well, or as close as you can get to it. There is no normal going on here. It's kind of interesting over here. Step one, stank the snow. <laughs> oh, big arse pile. <laughs> oh. Yeah, really. See what Tanner's up to. How picturesque. I said how picturesque seen through the uh, the branches of the tree. Bit of extra snow for Hugo. The snow coffin that's pictured here has a lot, of, a lot of advantages over the traditional Quincy. The first step in making it is to make a large pile of snow, about 10 feet long, about 5 feet wide, and waist height. When you're lying down inside it or lying on top of it, there should be about 1 to 2 feet of snow beyond your head and there should be enough room beyond your feet for a two to three foot entrance tunnel. It's always a good idea to lay down on top of or eventually inside of the snow coffin with your own body, uh, get into it or onto it, in order to test each stage and make sure that the, uh, that the proportions are correct. In the snow coffin you're seeing here with Max, he has made a five foot entrance tunnel, which uh, is not a disadvantage, but adds a lot of extra work to the process. Uh, it could have been a lot shorter. Go, turn it around. Oh my so wow, yeah. man. Cool. And now, carefully. Oh my like, wait, was that you in the sky? Your block. Well, yeah. Try and keep your block. Sorry, man. It's all right, I'll keep you. It's, it's floofy, but it's a block, right? Where are you keeping them? Oh, um, just right there, I guess. Right off the. Shop. Right on top of his coat. <laughs> yeah, okay, this stuff off little, Is that working? A little too floofy. Yeah, stuff. of course, you're going to get a block off the top, hopefully. Yeah. And, and then the rest is going to be. You're just going to yeah. do what you got to do. With. But that is actually sitting really nicely there. The, 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 the walls are nice and straight. Yep. So that's good. Is that working for you now, Max? Yeah. Excellent. Keep those blocks. How you doing, Tanner? I want to see where I should be at. Well, we can come over and have a look. Once you've finished piling up your snow and letting it set for a while, you can cut out a middle slot with a shovel or a snowshoe that is going to be wide enough to be reasonably comfortable but not too wide. Uh, you, the tunnel part should be narrower and the part that you're going to be sleeping in can be a little wider to uh, uh, easily allow you to move around a bit. Uh, as you're cutting out the blocks of snow you should try to save the blocks because they're going to be handy to put on top of your sticks 
and uh, prevent uh, snow from sifting through. It needs to be high enough so that as you put the sticks across, you can easily turn on your side. You're not lying on your back Don't with, the, uh, with the sticks right in your face. I think I'm going to clear a little bit out of my feet. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably a good idea. <laughs> I'd use the snowshoe because then you'll get, you'll still have that nice straight wall. Yeah, that's a little nicer. <laughs> See any sticks there? Um. Yeah, just kind of clean them out of the way before you... Stick them in the walls, so if somebody comes in, they'll stab themselves. It's a, okay. It's a decoy. <laughs> well, I could just stick it right through the wall and it'll disappear forever. It's like rebar. <laughs> and here we go. We'll take a look at how our snow shelters are progressing. The, the others are about the same, about the same place you are, well, which I is good. Blocks, so. Yep. So that's good. Come around the corner here. Efficient use of snow. Well, yeah, because the snow is really far away, so it's trying to go like that, and it's just dispersing in the air. Whoa. You need to put sticks on top that are strong enough and close enough together so that uh, they don't bend under the weight of the snow you're going to pile on top of them uh, or break because you don't want the snow coming in while you're sleeping inside. However, they don't need to be that close together because by placing the blocks on top, you're putting a nice solid layer of snow on that uh, then will prevent the snow from sifting through as you go into the final stage of this, which is just piling more snow on top. Just keep adding more and more snow until you've got a good two feet of snow on top. Going camping in the winter, and I have the chance of getting lost. I'm bringing a shovel. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I would definitely have a shovel for winter camp. Absolutely. <laughs> so we slowly seal the tomb at midnight. Okay, we've got a little hole here. With Colin inside. <laughs> Over here is Max's doorway. Hugo needing to do some last minute refurbishing. You can either get in your sleeping bag outside of the shelter and try to squirm in, or pull it in with you and try to enter it while you are inside. Other way works uh, standing on the snow in a sleeping bag is kind of slippery though. All quiet. Extra blocks can also be used to create a doorway, especially if you've got somebody on the outside that's able to pile them up for you. Otherwise, you can just use a pile of snow or even a garbage bag full of snow. He's hatching.
there he is. It got so freaking tight. Tight? Oh. Yeah, I think it might be time to. Grab your, uh, grab your sleeping bag. Bring him inside. I almost, like, because, I don't know how, but, like, mine's really tight, right? Yeah. And, I, uh, when you pass my sleeping bag, there's no way I could get in, but it was getting kind of cold, and then somehow with, like, my ninja skills, I got him. But, maybe three hours ago, I was, like, panicking because it was so tight, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, lift my head. 